Hey guys, coming to you from my little workshop down here, and uh, I thought I'd show you the progress on the guitar so you can see how it's coming along. Um, you can see I've got the neck and the fretboard kind of roughed in. Um, I've got the tuner holes drilled. As you can see, it's going to be a four string, and I've cut a little angle into the headstock, but it's just all rough cut. It's going to be, I'll smooth it and bevel this and round that off and that kind of thing. Um, and the, the neck's going to be made up of three pieces of wood, okay? Um, this is all red oak, and I just laminated the three pieces together by using wood glue and clamping it and everything. Um, you can still see the divisions between them right now, but when I'm done and it's final sanded and everything, it'll basically just mold together like one piece of wood. Um, and then also it's probably going to be painted or, or stained anyway. But uh, And as you can see, I overlap these two pieces, but that's just because I'm going to come back and sand this into like a smoother curve down to the headstock here. And you see I've cut out a section for the nut, which in my case is actually going to be this brass bolt. Um, this is a 5 16 brass bolt. And I found out that this uh, thread spacing and everything works out really well. Um, the strings sit in there just fine. Um, with this this kind of unusual design obviously but with this fretboard being so high off the headstock it gives me a, a nice breakover angle that keeps good tension on the strings and they don't slip around in here at all um, plus uh, I'll build uh, you know some string retainers um, down here to uh, make sure that I keep the correct angle on there at all times on each string um, but anyway uh, the way this is made once it's all measured out um, and you have nice uh, you know, take your T-square and make sure it's nice and straight. I just take a hacksaw, like this little mini hacksaw here, and I'll just cut down a portion, you know, just a part of the way on each line, and then I'll make a couple more cuts across, and then uh, I'll just chip that out, like with a pocket knife. And then I take a round file and go through there until it gets to be just perfect to hold that bolt in there, okay? And, uh... Then the rest of the fretboard, uh, it's marked out, this is on a 25 and a half inch Fender scale, uh, you know, the common Fender guitar scale. And when I say scale, for those that don't know, that means the distance uh, that the string is vibrating, basically. So it's from the nut here to the bridge, which in the case of this, uh, you know, resonator style guitar is going to be right here in the middle of this uh, steel bowl on this biscuit here, okay. And... Um, that's just a really common scale. Uh, the other one that's most common would be like a Gibson, which is like a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale, which actually is a pretty good scale too because it's a little bit uh, slinkier, if you will. But anyway, once I laid it out, made the marks in pencil, and then I scored them uh, with a razor knife as well, and you can actually feel a little groove in there, you know. And I've marked them for depth and everything just to ensure um, that I get everything exactly how I want. Um, I got some areas to fill in here yet. Um, now, on this one, uh, I'm using the uh, stainless steel strips that come in windshield wipers. And that's what I'm going to use for frets. Okay, uh, I've done these many, many times, and they hold up really well. Uh, but they don't have like the little shoulder on them like fret wire does, so it's much harder to get these perfectly level. Okay. And uh, you got to be really careful. It takes a lot of practice to get them just right. Um, and to make it even harder, in a way, I'm not even using a fret saw, which would have like a depth gauge. Um, I'm actually just using a junior hacksaw like this. And the reason being, I just found out through trial and error that these particular blades in this saw uh, make a cut. You know, the saw kerf is exactly the right size for this particular blade, okay? <laughs> and uh, it works out really well. I don't recommend doing this. If you're building guitars, get a fret saw, use fret wire, it's much easier. Um, I'm just doing this because I want to, and that way it's you know totally handmade with as few guitar parts as possible. Um, but anyway, it's all laid out. And like I said, it's just roughed in, but I've got, I've got it all set up where it's uh, gonna go in the box, and then there's actually, uh, this is just a couple blocks glued together. This will all be shaped, and that'll create like a heel that'll go up against the box underneath the neck. And then there's gonna be a lot going on inside here as well, once that's done. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick update, show you that it is progressing. 
and uh, I'll come back in a little bit and show you how it turned out. See you later.